from a nerve feedback perspective, there are two pieces that we need to address with regard to PTSD. One is a physiological self-regulation issue in that when you're traumatized, you go into hypervigilant mode, fight or flight mode, you're, you're reactive, you're tense, you, have, you get angry easily, you can't, can't sleep, all of that physiological high arousal state. And so they come on alcohol and Xanax and all of these things to calm them down. Um, so the first thrust with nerve feedback is this physiological self-regulation training. So people don't have to talk about their experiences, they just witness the brain waves and they find themselves in this calm state. And then the hard part is they have to learn to accept that and to live with it. Because the thing about anxiety is that it feels self-protective. If I'm fearful and anxious all the time, then all those bad things won't get me. I'm ready to duck under the counter, whatever. And so when we get people to relax, oftentimes they feel vulnerable and frightened and uncomfortable with it. So that's another reason to have a clinician working with you, not to talk about your, your trauma, but to help you understand and, and get comfortable with the physiological changes that are occurring with you. When it comes to that calming piece, mostly we're working on the right brain because the right brain is our more primary awareness of how am I, am I safe, do I have what I need, what's happening in the world, are there people I can connect with. Our primary job with this physiological self-regulation is to calm down the right hemisphere. And that goes toward uh, now I can sleep, now I'm not angry all the time, now I'm not getting upset and reactive. It just makes huge changes. But there's still another piece which is the actual unresolved traumatic memories so that I'm now calm and not so reactive and whatnot, but when I see the, the garbage bag in the hallway, it's a body bag and I'm back in wherever I was that I saw that. So then there's an issue of, of how do we help the brain process and put away as a memory that traumatic memory. And instead of talking about it and bringing it out into the open, we do the other part of nerve feedback, which is alpha theta training, which now transports the person to a very deep state, sort of between awake and asleep. And in that deep state, the conscious mind is sort of uh, not unconscious, but is in a witness state. So it's like we are observing ourselves. No one's talking to you. This isn't psychotherapy. This is the brain allowing unresolved traumatic memories to surface internally, be seen, and be understood. Not conscious the story understood, but oh, I get it. And so we put these two pieces together, the physiological self-regulation and then the psychological resolution, and that does an enormous amount.